He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Anniversary Edition. We're playing on Legendary Difficulty. We're going to do this using a brand new character. I know I have my level 70 Imperial loaded up now, but that's just for demonstration purposes. That's right. We're going to start from scratch, and I made it a personal rule of engagement to only equip, uh, I'll put a word, equip weapons and armor newly introduced by the Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC which was just released yesterday. Brand new stuff, yeah. Uh, the main purpose of this is to force our character build to focus on the new content in order to better showcase it. Alright? You get all that? Because it's going to be a pop quiz tomorrow. Before the end of the video, I'm going to have everybody get this home right here, Mirror Watch, which I think is the best player home available in the new DLC. Um, this will take some doing depending on which race you choose to start out with. Let me just quickly explain what's going to happen. When you get here as a level 1 character, what, by the way, I'm playing, did I mention that? We're playing on Legendary Difficulty. Legendary Difficulty, the highest difficulty setting. Um, yeah, when you first get here as a level 1 character, there's going to be a level 12 course here. Very dangerous, uh, very tough to take down as a level, level 1 character with crappy gear or no gear. Um, if you're playing as a Wood Elf, um, it'd be no problem because all you have to do is just cast the command animal uh, spell on him, which all Wood Elves get, and then he'll be instantly calmed. At that point, you could just use your flame. Well, actually, you first have to loot a dead guy here and then read his journal, and that will tell you how to do this. You'll come over here, cast the flame spell on this thing right here, and then a little rabbit's going to come out. The rabbit's going to come over here. He's going to go in there, and the door to Mirror Watch will be open, and you can just walk right in. That's if you're playing as a Wood Elf. If you're playing as another race, it's going to be a little more difficult. And that's when I'm going to show you how to do pretty much right now. Um, Alright, so that's it. Let's get busy. Uh, one thing I want to check. Let's just quit back to the main menu. I just wanted to check to see if my hair mod was working, is working. Or rather, and I've got a special save here, the prisoner save. This is the save you can make right after the opening cutscene where you're rolling in, the Imperials Ulfric are rolling you in Stormcloak. and they're about to execute all the prisoners and they bring you here to Helgen and you can make a save right at this point before you choose your race this is what I call my prisoner save and this is how I skip the opening cutscene whenever I want to um, create a new character that's right, run for it, you're gonna make it you're not gonna kill me! Run! Run! Come on! Faster! Oh. Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Who are you? Alright, once again, just to recap, you play as a wood elf, you can walk into Mirror Watch no problem. If you play as a Breton, you start out with 25% uh, magic resistance, which is also very useful. But I finally decided, I've, I've done power stars on all of those guys. Uh, I finally decided that the Dark Elf is the best for reasons I'm going to explain as we advance through the walkthrough. Now, making a good looking Dark Elf. This is, uh, I want to go as a female. And I finally end up using Lil Mir. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Lil Mir's tutorial on how to make a good looking Dark Elf female. I'll put a link to her to, um, tutorial in the video description or in the pinned comment. Yeah, check it out. I, that I used pretty much her instructions exactly with the exception of I put the weight up to max to like you know give her bigger um, <coughs> ballistics uh, let's put it in Resident Evil language bigger ballistics and uh, that's it this is the only thing I changed I follow her instructions exactly with the exception of the hair and I just want to change this I wish I taken her advice about the hair because she makes a better looking one but I changed it to something else I'm going to change it back later and I just want to see if my hair mods are still working looks like they are yep my hair mods are still working great okay so that's it so I'm going to skip to the save I have loaded up or follow all our instructions and um we'll load that let's just call this elf because I'm going to immediately scrap this okay and back to load this is the one I had, Grey Quarter, and I'm going to change that name to CC Rider. Once again, CC Rider, originally called the Grey Quarter. That was just for um, practice purposes. Alright, so here is my 
female dark elf that I created using Lil Mir's tutorial. I'll show you when we get into Helga Keep what she looks like. For now, let's just run through this All opening scene stop. here and let's make sure my FOV is correct. FOV 90. There we go. And off we go. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Yeah, Ulfric. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Why don't you volunteer yes, to be beheaded to first and just like save us all the trouble? As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings Instead of, of the divines upon For the love of Talos, <laughs> shut up and let's get this over. Learned. Poor guy. As you wish. Once again, had he only waited one minute, he would have survived. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? No, but we have another saying. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Death to the Imperials! Fearless in death, as he was in life. Next, the Dark Elf! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What do you see? It's in the clouds. Dragon! There you go. And we're off to the races. Cue xenophobic comics about my key configuration. And... Let's go. Well, watch it now. Hmm. I have barbecue wings for breakfast, eh? <laughs> and let's make a run for it. We're gonna go with Hadvar because it's easier to run through Helgen Keep with Hadvar than it is with Raylock. When you go with the Raylock, you have to fight the captain and kill the captain and get the key before you can continue. And we're not gonna pick up anything in Helgen Keep except for lockpicks, that's all we want. So you have a choice of going with Raylof in that door? Nope. Go with the blue guy or go with the red guy in here. Hadvar. And that's the choice we're gonna make. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? Yeah, well duh. You think? <laughs> we should keep moving. Yeah, that's great. I'll slow up here. Untie me. There you go. Thank you. Take a look around. Okay. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. Okay, and this is what Grey Quarter looks like. Not too shabby. Like I said, it was very chosen. Um, you better get some gear. Little Mir's suggestion for here. Um, but we can change that later. We're going to change your name to CC Rider, like I said. And all we need here is the Helgen Keep key, yeah, and that's it. Over. Yank the chain, and off we go. We're going to run through Helgen Keep. Still out there. We're picking up nothing. So I don't want to hear anybody complaining that I missed this or I missed that. I'm telling you right now, we're picking up nothing, nada, bumpkiss, except lockpicks. Hold up now. We only want to. If you want to die. Okay, now to get safety through this area here, open the door and run towards this guy as soon as you get near him. Sprint to the door and through. Sprint to the top of the stairs and then save your stamina until you get to the bottom of the stairs. And then sprint straight towards the knapsack, grab everything in the knapsack, we got four lockpicks, and away we go. And once you get far enough away, you can save your stamina by um, downgrading to run. <laughs> downgrading, slowing it down to run, there we go. Where in the 
When you get into the big cavern, stick to the right side, just hop over everything. Hop over this fence here, hop to the next rock, hop over this fence here, turn to the right. Don't worry about this guy, he never attacks you. Calmly use the lever, wait for the drawbridge to go down, and save your stamina so we can sprint through the spider cave. Ignore the bag of money, don't need it. All we want is the lockpicks, and we got the lockpicks. And sprint through the spider cave. Just stick to the left. Here, stick to the left to avoid the bear. And yes, I know there's money and wine in the wagon. Don't want it, don't need it. Didn't miss it, because I have no intention of picking it up. And that's it. We're exiting Helgen Keep with just four lockpicks. And a healing potion. Where do we get that? Probably from the knapsack. Actually, we need that too. But we're going to get other healing potions, so it's no biggie. And that's it. And Hadvar may or may not come through with you. Sometimes he doesn't. If he doesn't... Uh, survival mode. This is also introduced by the date if you have everyone gets this for free i'm not going to use survival mode this walkthrough because it's just going to slow everything down but we got a lot of ground to cover i'm going to do another survival mode walkthrough after this one but for now uh we're going to turn it off so no and you can turn it on and off anytime you like go to settings gameplay and just show you this i am indeed playing on legendary difficulty and you scroll down i believe here it is right right above right there you can turn it on or off at will right we're going to leave it off. And if Havar didn't come through with you like he did this time, all you have to do is just run down the path a little bit. And the Unbound quest should complete. Hello? There we go, attaboy. And I'm going to just backtrack to the exit of the Helgen Keep to start this walkthrough. At this point, if you bought a lot of Creation Club content previously, you'd get like this total quest spam of like quest initializations like all your quests will be initialized and previously if you bought all the creation club content it would take like five minutes as i showed in a previous video um but now they just show you three quests and all the rest of the creation club content you have to find on your own how do we find it slack hey stick with the slack and you will find it yeah aren't you glad you got me on your team so that's it that's all you get now that's all you get. So everybody complained about that. You got your way. Now you have to hunt around for everything. So this is way above our pay grade. This is way above our pay grade. And this is way above our pay grade. So we're just going to table those, table that for a later date. Um, I want to make Skyrim prettier by using my Imaginator mod. This is called the Imaginator Visual Control Device. Everybody can install this for free. And we can show you my settings because a lot of people are asking about this. Just cast him and use this to improve color, saturation, all kinds of things. I'm going to show you exactly the settings I use. Uh, click on contrast or functions. Looks like he's gone. Click on brightness. Quiet, have our doing the walkthrough here. Click on brightness, increase one. There we go. See in the upper left corner of the screen, brightness set to one. That's it, that's all. And back to back. Good luck. I wouldn't have and no help today. it's screwed up. This is a Skyrim menu thing. Let's just reset brightness. Okay. Brightness 1. Set to 1. Let's go down here. Back, I says. There we go. Now, down to saturation. We're going to increase saturation to 30. So go up to here, increase by 10, click on that three times. There you go, saturation set to 10. Saturation set to 20. Saturation set to 30. That's it. Back to back. And back to menu. Here we're gonna go down to Cinemagic Functions.
and click on sky twice sky increase twice once sky level increased and again I didn't get the notification. Um, let's just ignore that. I'm pretty sure it went through. And now down to sunlight. Sunlight increase once. And sunlight increase twice. And that's it. And I'm pretty sure I got it right. I'm just going to show you. See? Way better. Lots of saturation. Um, you may not like my settings because uh, when you go into snowy areas, it's pretty bright, but I like it like that. You can change it to the way you like it, but those are my settings. A lot of people are asking about that. You can also um, check your settings. Let's just check it right now to see yes. if we got the right settings. Click here, and you can click on display your imaginator settings. Let's just double check that to make sure I got the... Here it shows brightness at 0.1. That is correct. That's exactly where it should be. And saturation at 3, even though we it says saturation increased to 30 when it finally shows here and display your settings it will read saturation 3 so that's correct all the different colors are all at 0 didn't touch those and then we're looking to see sky at 2 and sun at 2 there's good there we go sun at 2 this is the upper left corner of the screen that I'm looking at and sky at 2 so it's good it's all good mm -hmm. very good let's unhook that and down I just want to do a save here and we're good. All right, let's do this. Got a lot of ground to cover, so let's not mess around. First thing I'm going to do is head to the south here. Basically, well, south by southwest. There is fancy, fancy directions for you. Across the snowy field. Down to the road. Three purple mountain flowers. Two. Three. Go down the road a bit. Find this unmarked camp here with all these bees. Watch out for the bear trap there. Grab this light armor skill book here. Normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I save skill books uh, until very late in the build because it makes much more sense, but this is going to be a quick and dirty power start. Retrace your steps. You're going to go back up the hill here. Look for this big stump. Back up the hill past the snowberry bush. Stick to the left side. Find these rocks here, and you're going to find this, what I call, corundum clearing here. These three corundum ore veins here. Okay, we're going to come back here later. For now, just continue to the west. Stick to the left side. And when you find the opening on the right, go down here. Climb your way down the mountains very carefully so you don't injure yourself. Get down here to the Shrine of Talos, which is right there all right loot everything here loot all these dead people not going to use any other gear because we're not allowed to but we're going to sell it and some of it we're going to disenchant most importantly what this dead thalmor soldier has on him it's always completely random he always has the hooded thalmor robes and a completely random piece of enchanted gear take all that that's it let's go and down the log steps we're going to head back to the northeast down this road here Watch out for this bandit camp here. We're not ready to take that on, so just ignore that. And we got a skeever up ahead. This is unusual. Um, let me just hotkey all my stuff here. And... The Dark Elf starts out with this as his power ancestor's wrath this is something i normally never use because usually when i'm playing as a dark elf um i always make a mage so i'm rarely within melee range of any enemies but this walkthrough this is going to be very useful all right so down here to the fishing camp sorry i'm going fast but there's a lot of ground to cover um here this is normally completely useless but now with the dlc we have a fishing rod the line and lure tutorial book which you can read okay, I'm just gonna assume that you read this I'm gonna show you how to fish okay once you pick up the fishing rod go to weapons equip the fishing rod and at every fishing spot there's always a pile of fishing supplies interact with that and your character I'm in combat really 
Okay, so that skeever is screwing things up. Let's just go over this way a little bit. Okay, we can wait. Let's just wait an hour, get rid of the skeever, go back. And I just saw him on the compass there. Maybe we can fish now. There we go. This is what happens. You get a little tutorial here. Skip that. I'm going to show you how to fish. Your character casts his line into the water. You're waiting for a big pull on the line, not a little tug, big pull. As soon as you see a big pull, interact and you yank out a fish and or a pair of iron boots and or some other piece of junk. <laughs> pull and we got a river betty. That's actually pretty good. We can make a good poison with that. And you can fish as many times as you like until the spot is fished out, at which point you have to wait 24 hours and try again later. And you know when it's fished out when you don't see that little splash of fish jumping around at the beginning as soon as you cast your line in. And that's all explained in the book. Let's just try it one more time just for posterity. And this time we got another river baby. It's incredibly lucky. Best time to fish apparently is at dawn or dusk because apparently you get rare stuff then. But I'm not going to do that because um, it's, it's too tedious. We'll try that maybe later on. Here, we're going to activate the thief stone. Take this hanging moss and we're going to swim across the river to Anissa's cabin. Got to watch out there because sometimes there's some skeevers. Not sometimes, always. Some skeevers or some wolves. Some kind of predator there. So stick to the right side here to avoid them. Because if you drag them into Anissa's cabin... Um, she gets really upset, and sometimes she goes hostile on you. And we don't want that. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Here in Anissa's cabin, we're going to read her alchemy skill book. Once again, I rarely do this, but um, this is going to be a quick and dirty power leveling. Don't steal it yet. We're not stealing anything yet. Listen to her bullshit story about being an old woman. I'm just a poor old woman. Bullshit. Baby. You're a witch. No need to a witch, I says. And you can take her vegetables. Picking on the poor old woman, it's like she's not a poor old woman, she's a witch. Okay, and steal her death bell. That's all you really want here. You could take the... Oh, there's the skeever. No, it's a fox. Okay, you just want the death bell. Don't worry about the other stuff. Take the, the frost miriam. Uh-oh. Did you cast me? Okay, and the garlic. Vegetable soup. And the wheat. Those are the most important. You can grab other stuff, but those are the most important. Look at the dress and see if she has any backpacks. She's got a backpack. And I'm going to show you more backpacks later on. This is completely random. And that's all we want there. You can grab the red mountain flower there, but it's not important. And pick the lock to get into the basement. At this point, Anise is going to go hostile on you. As soon as you come out of the basement, be advised. This is the point of no return. Because you've discovered her secret. What's her secret, Slack? Her secret is right here. And you can read that up and find out that she's a witch! A witch, I says! All right, but we're down here for the death bell, the enchanter potion, and whatever is in the barrel, which is completely random. And most importantly, a paralysis poison, which is up here. Grab that. The weak poison. And that is it. Maybe the troll feather, the bone meal there. This is actually a, a good player. Well, not home, but a place, you know, headquarters. After you've looted her blind, go into sneak boat, go back upstairs. And we're going to go around the corner, get near the door, and make a run for it. Because like I said, she's hostile now. And go. Go right past her. Keep running. Down here, boy, she really cooked us up. Quickly now, down to this dead deer hide right here. Grab the flawless emerald. And jump into the river to cool yourself off. <laughs> and that's it. With all that, make a run for it down the river to get away from Anise. And now Anise is your enemy. Heads forth. Grab this more Tapanella here. Let's just get down the other side here. Heal up. Let's hope for the wolves across the stream there. Stick on this side, like I said, to avoid the wolves there. And... You can grab this near river, but that's not that important. Once you get about here, you can go back across the river. Get some purple mountain flower here and some more here. More tapanella. Two. Three. Because we got one earlier. And four. 
forgive me if I'm not explaining every last detail, but we got a lot of ground to cover, and it's just uh, six months slow everything down. Thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from Talk to Sven. She's Talk to him about you tell. and Feindel both She's like the Camilla same girl. I've seen him Plow through the dialogue, the and right. eventually he's going to suggest delivering a letter of friend. venomous nonsense to Camilla. Here. Give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. We can do that. Next, talk to Albor. Take his supplies. Of course. Now, mother. Take what you. But what's all this about? Take everything. What are you two doing here? Agree to uh, take word of the dragon to the Jarl. What? That explains what I saw earlier. Yeah, it was a dragon. Uh, the Jarl. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in White Run to send whatever soldiers he can. Yep, we can do that. You'll do that done and done. Now, we're friends with Alvor. We can take all his steel ingots here and all the iron ingots here. At this point, everybody should have six iron ingots done and done. You could take some chump loot here over there. Actually, he's got some iron plate boots there. Interesting. That's completely random though. But I don't really usually bother with this. What's this worth? Yeah, it's not really worth that much. Okay, so that's that. Next, let's go into Alvor's place. Quickly now before Sigrid comes upstairs because she's going to box us in. Sigrid, not that big, company. but it's just a minor noise. Grab all these ingredients on top here. Most importantly, the frost mirror and the vegetables here. And that's that. Chest. Grab everything in the chest. Bag of money. Very good. And let's go downstairs. Make sure you can grab these ingredients here, including the frost marion that's most important, and anything that's not nailed down. Too troll fat, and that's that. And I'm a poet, and I don't know it. These blacksmith potions might be useful, so let's steal those. And there's always a random animal hide in here. This time it's a goat hide and a wolf pelt. And that's that. That's all we want here. Sure Next, be all right. let's go do the Camilla caper. Across to the Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. Talk to Camilla. No. Side with Feindel. You can side with Feindel, or side with Sven by lying. Side with Feindel. What are you talking about? Oh and we should go talk to Feindel, right? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk you to Feindel? Feindel as well? We can do that. Sure. Okay, that's all we want to do here. Do a quick right. save. And out we go. Go down to Miscellaneous. Talk to Feindel. Hook that up and you get a marker where Feindel is. Let's go talk to him. We'll get a little reward, but more importantly, we get to, ma get to make him our follower. Uh... River was there we go. Enough, I, I don't suppose. think Camilla will be spending any more time to Sven. I appreciate your help. Please take this. See a little chump change. Gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Follow me. All right. And at that point, Still we here. simply want to trade stuff with him and take all the stuff. What do you want me to carry? Normally, I don't use followers, but um, I will start using Feindel later on. But for now, we just want to dismiss him. I've got your back. It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. And that's that. Let's go loot his place with his key. Because we're welcome. Eh. And he may have a lot of backpacks. It's completely random. But the first thing you want to check is this cupboard right here. And he's got none. Okay, I've seen as many as three backpacks in here. Anyways, I'll show you what backpacks are later on. A few minutes. Let's grab that. And pretty much everything that is not nailed down once again. Most importantly, you want Frost Miriam and Frost Miriam again over here. And there. So everyone should have at least four Frost Miriam. Your mileage may vary. And five purple mountain flower. And we're going to get some wheat later on. Maybe we want to grab these chicken eggs here. And that's that. What's he got in the chest? Woodcutter's axe, and what do you got in this chest? Grab all that, and we're good to go. Next, let's get the wall rest of bonus at the inn and get some more stuff there.
First thing you want to do is check this barrel. Looking for Salpal. We got another river bay. Interesting. Next, rent a room. Not to. You're that visitor. Would like to rent a room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's give us the, the rest of it. Well, rest of the bonus. Talk to Orgnar. This you is very no important. Clothes. Yeah, we know. Take a look. For sale. And look down to ingredients. He always has three wheat for sale. Grab those. He may have some salt pile as well, but don't worry about that. Grab the three wheat. Right, Make sure then. you grab that. And let's go have a nap. And let's put on some clothes. People start stop complaining that we're naked, naked, naked. Let's go with uh, these ones here. Ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. All right, um, we have hired thugs on our ass, so make sure you just sleep as little as possible to get the well rested bonus. Everybody's got, because the hired thugs it takes them about forty eight game hours to catch up with you. Let's do a quick save before every major crafting session. We're gonna crank out a bunch of power potions, potions that we're gonna make specifically visitor, to make money around. and or level up alchemy. Frost Miriam, purple mountain flower and wheat as many as you can make. And death bell, garlic, and salt pal. Everybody should be able to make two. And that's it. So we love up alchemy a lot, and we're good to go. Let's go sell off all our merchandise. Give me a mug of ale. And we're gonna be leveling up speech right a lot up. doing this too. Okay, quick save. I'm quick saving like crazy because if I screw up, I'm going like at breakneck speed here. So if I screw up, at least I can backtrack. Into the river with Trader. Maybe you could talk some. Well, I don't know what you overheard. Something uh, happened. Yeah, an ornament. Dragon's claw. I could get that could. back for you. I've got there you some go. And from my last that's ship. nice. It's yours if you bring my claw back. The sooner you. Oh, what do you got for sale? A bit of that. Sell them everything except one fishing rod. So they're not allowed to use any of this stuff any, anyways. And usually, even if it sells for nothing, um, I sell it anyways just to get it out of my inventory. Even the woodcutter's axe, we're going to need another one. Sell all this stuff. Do not sell the enchanted stuff, okay? So this, the, the random one you got, and the hooded Thalmer robes, don't sell that. Everything else, sell. Okay, and keep selling till he runs out of money. Including the power potions that we love up speech. Very good. Let's exit. Level up. Points it to Magica until further notice. See the perk point for now. Continue selling. Some may call this junk. <laughs> Me, I call them treasures. Slow down, Slack. No, no, can't. We got a lot of ground to cover. Sell all the minor healing potions except one. Keep one. Uh, may want to hang on to this just for an emergency. Sell that. Oops. Yeah, that was okay. And keep the potion of true shot. That's very important. Um, food. Typically, I sell all the food. Keep the ingredients. And he's down to his last. That's it. At this point, check his books. He always has oak flesh. Buy oak flesh, that'll so give him some more money and sell him some more stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, I wonder if he has any lock picks. He's got 12. So now he has 219 bucks. Still not enough to buy the flawless emerald. Doesn't matter. We. Are good. Mm -hmm. so That's it. So now we have the Oak Flesh spell. Down it goes. Hockey it. Learn it. Love it. And I'm losing my voice. Hang on a second. <coughs> Pardon me. That's it, we're done with the Thief Stone. Back to the Guardian Stones. Now we enter, we enter the Smithing section. We're going to level up Smithing and continue to level up our character. We're aiming for level 3. Okay, so Warrior Stone, this will level up um, Warrior Skills 20% faster. 
And like I said, we got higher thugs on our ass. Every time we wait or sleep, they're gonna get closer and closer. Here I've comes. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. This is most likely the letter Let's from Bolgear like Bearclaw. Got to go. Which will start the quest. To let sleeping wolves lie. Books. There we go. This lack all it is lack all letter from Bolgear Bearclaw. Let sleeping wolves lie. Definitely doing that. And we're done. Okay, so now we want to do business with Alvor, but he's finished for the day. This is kind of risky, but we're going to do it anyways. Like I said, we got hired thugs on our ass, and every time you sleep or wait, they get closer and closer. So I recommend doing a quick save now and wait just enough till you get to the next morning till business hours, like 12 hours. Here we go, and if you go outside and there's hired thugs there, um, you're gonna have to make go for, go with plan B. <laughs> Take Looks what like you need, good. my friend. Within reason. Okay, let's grab this fly, Amanita. And very good. Looks like Alvor slept at the inn. Had a few beers. While waiting for Alvor to get here, let's tan all our hides into leather. Normally I wouldn't do this because hides weigh less than leather, but I just want to do a leather count. We have 12 leather, that's pretty good. Okay, Alvar, come on, get your ass here. And we're going to run through his tutorial to get a little bit of extra smithing materials. Come on, hustle it up here. Let me just do a quick save here, just in case I screw this up. You ready to go? May the gods watch over your battles. Friend. Okay, that's his indication that he's ready to go. All right, so whatever you need, my smear ask is him. simple and strong. I can forge it. Do you need any help around the forge? And he's going to give you two free iron ingots and two free leather strips. Yes, actually. There we go. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Okay, so at this point, everybody's got eight iron ingots and two leather strips. We need to make six more to make eight iron daggers. Go let's ahead. do that right now. So let's craft up a couple of leather strips here. One, two, and we're good. Now we're going to craft eight iron ingots. Strike that. Eight iron daggers with the warrior stone and the wall rested bonus. Quick save before every major crafting session. Iron down to daggers and crank them out. This will level up smithing. Level me up. Come on, baby. Come on, Skyrim. You know you want it. There we go, boy. Okay, now let's Take talk to Alvor. Give him the iron dagger paint. that he asked you to make. Not and he'll give you another iron ingot. But it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just okay, do as he says. Go to the grindstone. grindstone over there. Sharpen up one of those. Take it back to Alvor. And he'll give you a free deer hide. I could forge you a war hammer. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. Okay, and we're asked to craft some leather. Alright, now our leather count is the same because we didn't lose anything. Take it back to him. Here's the leather you wanted. This may seem ah good. A like lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. It's not a good idea, Let's but see um, if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay, he's like distracting me. Okay, well now let's check our leather count. Here we go. We're up to 14. So just running through that little tutorial, we get a little bit of extra leather. Let's turn what we need is nine leather and eight strips. At this point, he wants you to make a high helmet. At this point, you want to bail out of the tutorial. Um, and what did I have? I had three strips, so let's make four more. That'll be 11 strips, and we'll be a little short on the leather. Yeah, we just need one more leather. That's perfect. Why is lagging? I'm going to show you in a minute. Need something? Don't worry about spending money or buying leather. We're going to make, make so much money later on. So, leather is 31 a pop. 
Let's buy it. And now we have everything we need to make. First of all, let me show you the backpacks that you can make with the new DLC. Make these so-called backpacks. Some of them have special um, attributes. Adventure pack pack with a bedroll and increase your stamina. The hunter backpack is the one we really want. Both do 10% more damage. Carrying capacity increased by 75 points. The mage backpack is also good. Increases your magic by 20 points. Thief backpack is good. Lockpicking is 15% easier. But we can't make any of those because we don't have any current ingots. You may have gotten lucky and got some out of Faint Dell's um, drawer. I've gotten him as many as four out of his drawer. Didn't this time, but we are going to make some, some of the new leather scout armor, which we're allowed to wear because it's new gear. This, um, the so-called Fearsome Fists gear, this is the Brawlers, this is supposed to like, uh, as it says in the CC description, it will add impact to your unarmed attacks. It doesn't work. Um, I'm going to report this as a bug. I checked these out. None of these work. The Brawlers leather bracers don't work. They don't add any unarmed damage whatsoever. Um, same with the hide one. This doesn't add any unarmed damage. And same with this one. But in hopes that they issue a patch that um, fixes that, I'm going to go with the original plans. We're going to make one of these. And Leather Scout Armor. Leather Scout Boots. And a Leather Scout Helmet. All right? So that's our new leather gear, which we are allowed to wear because it's new gear. It's new, um, like, like I said, introduced by the DLC. So let's put this on, show you what it looks like. And this is supposed to give you better unarmed damage, but it doesn't work. And this is what she looks like. Okay. Pretty spiffy. And just to demonstrate, all characters have four unarmed damage. If this added any unarmed damage, we would be able to see it. So player, get AV, unarmed damage and you can see it's still four there's no improvement whatsoever so that's bugged but in hopes that they fix it going with that plan anyways so that's that um we're good to go let's uh go back to the guardian stones our smithing session is now finished Let's hook up the mage stone. And we're gonna kill the guard at the Emperor Shard mine. Currently our armor rating is 62. I forgot to improve everything. Let's do that right now. I should really have the warrior stone, but it doesn't matter because you don't really gain that much XP at this level from improving. But you should really have the Warriors though. Um, Take what you need, workbench. Within everything up to fine. Very good. Okay. Hopefully I stole the well rested bonus. Yep. Alright, that's it. Big save. Let's go into combat. Run, don't sprint, down. You can see the mine icon on the compass right now. That's Emperor Shard Mine. Right about here. I'm going to do a quick save. Cast Oak Flesh. This will bring our armor rating up to 107. There we go. And then get your flame spell. Wait till your magic recovers. Then we're going to go carefully up the hill. When we get to the top, we're going to start flaming on the bandit and do alternating shots so that you stack up the burn damage. Okay, well, let's get close before our armor wears off so that we level up alteration and let's go. Okay, alterate for that. And when it gets close, make sure you activate your ancestor's wrath right about now. You'll take extra burn damage. Keep backing away. And that'll cook him up right nicely. 
Grab all the stuff. Heal up if necessary. Grab some more purple mountain flower and the woodcutter's axe and make sure you chop yourself some wood. <laughs> Slow down, Slack. No, sorry, can't. We got a lot of ground to cover still. That's really cool seeing her chop wood while she's on fire. That's hilarious. In her new scout gear. This is great. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to speed run in and get a pickaxe. This is a little dangerous, but we need that pickaxe. Probably want to get your healing spells up and ready. Okay. Grab this fly amanita. Quick save just in case you screw this up. Okay, now do exactly what I'm doing here. Go up to this opening here. Wait till those guys start coming up the ramp. Once they come up the ramp, grab the fly amanita. Fly amanita, pickaxe, wait for them to come over and speed run past them. It may take a little heat, but don't worry about it. And then run out. And you can run through the trap to set it off. And that will block them. And I think it killed one of them. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. Done and done. So we got the pickaxe. Great. Now, let's go back to Corundum Clearing. To show you how to get there. Basically head back towards the Guardian Stones, which are just down there, but you're going up this way. Up the hill, to the south, to the crossroads, find the signpost. Here's the signpost. Go just past the signpost. Look for the little pile of rocks here. Go down this path to the south, right towards that big stump there. Go in between the stump and the little rocky plateau on the left there. Look for the pointy rock. Go under the pointy rock. Look for more pointy rocks on the left there. Find the foggy area. Go into the foggy area and here we have Corundum Clearing. And I'm going to hook up my pickaxe. You can interact with these guys or I'm just going to like... You know, manually mine. Do this quickly with my faster pickaxe mining mod. Done and done. And that's it. Back to what do we want now? Um, the mage stone still. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to cast uh, Alteration. I cast Oak Flesh when we went in. Okay, we can fix that. Yeah, when you go in, speed run in to get the pickaxe, you should have cast. Casted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One of the first songs I away. Now, okay, Ragnar yeah. Good. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I Boy, could. they are really upset when you they walk into the, the end with the pickaxe. Oh, got to rent a room again. You're that visit. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, just an hour because we don't want the hired thugs on our ass. And. Then he went quiet, did Ragnarok. There they are. Shit. Okay, it's on, people. It's gonna dig them out. <laughs> they know what I want to do. Uh, they're pretty smart for hard thugs. Okay, let's just draw them upstairs and then we're gonna run for it. We're here to teach you a lesson. We're here to teach you a lesson. Is that right? Okay. We're out of here. Sorry. There we go. So I leveled up alteration or yep, so that is 
but I want to dance around this mud crab here. That's unfortunate. So I can't do that. Okay, this is going sideways. I'm going to do a quick save. And there's a wolf up here too. Uh, my crab still the right of me. Wolf still the left. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Ouch. And he gave me rock joint. You bugger. Ouch. Still good. Everything is on track. Except for the premature spawning of the hired thugs. Okay, well. More fun. <laughs> Past White Run Stables. Hey, let's run for it. Is closed with the dragons about official business only. All right, at this point, you want to go for the persuade option to level up speech. Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Very good, perfect. And we're gonna go straight to Dragon's Reach. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldier. Up the stairs. This is getting to be a really long video. This is uh, not normally what I do. Typically the target video length is between 25 and 30 minutes. That's the most I can manage with real walkers because it takes a lot of practice and study to produce these videos. But uh, getting an extra long video today, extra treat for part two of this walkthrough. And in we go to Dragon's Reach. You should have arrived with the mage stone and the well rested bonus and I've got rock shine. Let me just go get rid of that right now. Very good. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors. <laughs> Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons. Okay, hopefully this is gonna do it. Let's go talk to Irolith. Nothing? What's the meaning of this interruption? I have news from Helgen about the dragon well, attack. That explains why the guards I just think in. we need more information on, before we act. The Jarl will want to speak I to just... you personally. Good day, Who's fellow Dark Elf. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I did indeed. Had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. <laughs> but <laughs> he looks like a little like you know, the a little surprised. To execute. Yeah, don't Especially worry about it. It's now. no big deal. What I want to know is what exactly Okay, yeah, there's a dragon, a trash helgen, etc. etc. You better send troops what to Riverwood. And while you're figuring that out, let's go talk to Ferengar. And ask them the perennial question. Ferengar, are you the biggest pompous ass, jer pompous ass jerk in all of Whiterun? I am, yes. Oh, you are? Very good. Speaking, of course. Ah, that reminds me. Would you be so kind as to deliver the... Fr 
Let's get those frost cells deliver them to um, Arcadia, and more importantly, let's see what he has for sale. Look down to books, and we're gonna buy calm. That's very important, and we might be able to sell them. No, we can't. And you know, that's it. Got the now with. Like I said, the mage's done with a well-rested bonus. Hit up the arcane enchanter, and we're going to disenchant this. And this enchant these hooded Thalmor robes, and this should level us up to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who loves you, game? Who loves you? Slack loves you, and that's it. That's perfect. So, points into magic until further notice. Go to illusion. With these two perk points, get Novice Illusion and Anna Mage. Illusion spells will now work on higher level animals. Right? Because at this point, our Calm spell will only work on creatures and people up to level 9. And that chorus at Mirror Watch is level 12. We need to improve that. Hence, Animage. Okay, everybody got that? Everybody on the same page? That's it. Let's go get our player home. Our free player home. Hotkey calm. Make sure it's ready to go. And everybody should have enough magicka to cast it. Nope, I'm short. Sure we can fix this right now by making a mage backpack. Yep. Alright, let's smelt up these Corundum ingots. And we're gonna have to wait till business hours. Hopefully this the hired thugs won't come into town. Very good. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Hmm. What have you got for sale? Helmets, pretty let's just don't find out exactly what we need to make a mage backpack. That would be Or leather. Have you met my father? He's hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Done right. and done. I saw those guys running there. I thought it was the hiring thugs. Okay, here we go. Mage backpack, one please. Let's increase our magicka. We have now have enough magicka to cast the calm spell. Perfect. Back to the stables. Hopefully the thugs won't be there. We can hire the carry to Morthal and we're gonna get our home. Okay, seems like we lost them for now. Let's stay on the move. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Morthal, my good man. And we'll be off. Oh, steady. Whoa, what a run. I should really have split this up into two videos, but hey, like I said, get an extra treat today. Once you get to Morthal, you're going to have Mirror Watch marked on the map. You just put a, a marker there and just go straight for the marker. And make sure you have calm ready to go. OK, 
Okay, so we got just enough magic to cast Calm, so make sure you do a quick save before... Because if you miss him, you're screwed. <laughs> Let's do a quick save. Okay. He's spitting poison at us already. He's a real bugger, too. There we go, he's calmed. Look for the dead guy. Here's the dead guy. Search him. Take everything. Read Hans' journal. New objective, activate the seal. Hook up your flame spell. There's a little bunny. Follow the little bunny. You don't have to follow him, but... Let's see, hurry up, little bunny. We got a chorus on my ass. And... Go in. And voila, the door is open. And we got ourselves a free player home. That's it, that's all. There you go. Completed mirror watching. You now have a home. All right, now that you have a home, I'm giving you homework. Homework? What is this, school? Yeah, this is school. This is the school of Slack. Besides, this will keep you busy until, this will keep you busy while waiting for the next video, okay? This is good homework, all right? You gotta do this. Mirror watch is full of free stuff. Tons of free stuff. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept is to inventory and categorize and store all this free stuff. As you can see, there's free soul jams, there's free ingredients, there's free smithing materials. I want you to do an inventory of the entire house, get organized, get all your smithing materials organized in containers near the smithing station, get all your enchanting materials organized and in, into containers near the enchanting station and get all your ingredients organized and into containers near the alchemy lab it's, and so on and so forth okay lots to do in here lots to organize all right that's your homework that'll keep you busy while waiting for the next video right so that's it thanks a lot for watching and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative you know what to do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and post a comment because I'd love to hear from my target audience. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.